My name is Nilesh Shinde. I'm from Mumbai, India. I'm a student activist, and uh, we are also a, uh, I'm a founder member of a union, Unorganized Labor, All India Unorganized Labor Union. But today I'm going to speak about the issues of railway workers. On uh, July 11th, the uh, All India Federation of Railway Workers and uh, the National Railway Mazdoor Union have decided to go on strike. This is a strike coming after 45 years of last strike. And it is a historically a very important moment, not only for India, but for a workers' movements in South Asia itself. In general, it is understood that the movements in South Asia are very closely associated with their historic, uh, historic emergence of the industry. So for us, the workers' movement of cotton and uh, cotton labor and the railway workers were actually centered to the understanding of labor movement itself. It has been 20 years that the labor movement of cotton employees, the, 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 the cloth employees in Mumbai has been died. So railway workers are the only alive example of the workers movement in India at this at these contemporary times. So this strike becomes an existential uh, phenomenon for a workers movement in India. Now the, ex the Indian railway, as, a, uh, as many will understand, is a, not only a transportation medium, as I say that, that, that the trade is a social interaction, then railway is a social relation. Railways has been a part of building a nation of India because it's not only geographically connecting the people, but it's actually socially connecting the people. That's why a railway acts as a nation of a worker in itself. It's a 3.5 million workers going on a strike. The railway budget ha uh, has, ha has been its own existence in the Indian bu uh, budgetary system. is larger than many uh, budget of many nations. So the railway's revenue is more than 30 billion per year. So the strike this time are for the workers are demanding uh, minimum wages for the last 20 years. And the government is uh, in the cloud of the fiscal deficit denying those uh, minimum wages. We argue that this is a politics uh, of class struggle. The railway employees and between the bureaucratic class. Because whatever the restrictions, whatever the, 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 the pension benefit restrictions are coming up in the new 7th pay commission, 8th pay commission, are only on the working class, not on the, the bureaucratic class, which is a class 1 employees. So we argue that this is a class struggle, the nature of class struggle in the name of minimum wage argument and the pension benefit argument. So the strike in of railway workers in India becomes a very important juncture of going back to the history of working day in Europe. So we believe that the July 11 strike will be one of the moment where we pledge the workers of the world to, uh, to, to present their solidarity with the railway workers in India.